Um, I figured today we'll discuss the uh, Combiner Wars Combaticons. I got them sitting here on the bed next to me. Um, not really a review, more of my thoughts and feelings on them. And uh, of course I, I added paint details and a few other slight modifications that I've done to them to make them just a little bit more like what I wanted from them. And I also have the uh, hands and feet from uh, Perfect Effect. So I'll talk about them too. I, I, I don't take these apart to make weapons. I just think that's stupid because these are meant for combined mode, really. That's kind of where you want them. But I will say, because these are the first um, of these sets I've had for any of my Combiner Wars figures, they give the figure a much better set of proportions. So they are worth having. Um, not to mention the hands with their articulation is pretty nice. You, know, you can almost get them to do a thumbs up if you cheated a little bit. But yeah. You know, ball joint on the thumb and then you have, you know, the individual fingers articulated. No spread in the fingers, but that's fine. For, for what I use them for, that's fine. The feet, you know has a ball joint here at the ankle so you get a lot of movement on that but nothing else really um, you don't really want anything else there is a nice rubber pad that came on there and that keeps him keeps the feet from moving on uh, smooth surfaces if the lighting goes wonky in here I'm, I've actually just got the shades open in here in my bedroom using the natural light from outside it's actually a pretty sunny day for once it's not raining so Let's start off. We'll start off with the uh, swindle. Swindle, as you can tell already, I did the rims. Um, you can see there, but I also did like there's all the rivets and stuff along him. I did, I did the headlights up there, some other silver details up there. On the back, I did some tail light detail just because. And there's some little greebles here and there that I hit with some paint just to make them look a little bit better in my opinion got down here these tanks and stuff down here he really is uh, the best figure of the set I will say other than Bruticus himself I mean, Bruticus himself is is fantastic now, I don't have the hands and, and feet that come with the figures I, they're downstairs in the basement because I'm not using them I got no need for them right now he is, you know, he's just a, a heavy retool of Rook. And I also have Sky Rain. Sky Rain's actually up here, which uh, I'm, I may do a video on him as well. And I do have Hound, so Hound is basically this with a different head. Eh. Brawl is the loser of the wave. He has a lot of problems, and it's mostly in his robot mode. Um, I, I kind of wish I did have his hand foot gun because it does sit up here like the G1 toy had. But you can see on the top I did some some gray bits. Focus. Just some gray bits here and there on both sides. Not too much else. I don't think I really... I There's a little yellow bit I got up in the front here, this little light. I don't think I added anything to his robot mode. I can't remember. It's been a while now. But yeah, he, he has problems. But considering, I, I mean, for combined mode, he's perfect. For the combined mode. As, as the leg that he's meant to be. He's perfect. But his actual individual mode, the tank mode's okay. The robot mode, eh. Most people know that already. Vortex is just a straight up repaint of Alpha Bravo. Now I did add some extra paint. There's some details up in here. I got like this vent. I did the, the tail rotor. That little piece on the tail. There's a gold part there. I don't know if you can see it that I did. On the underside I got some silver done. And these black pieces here. Uh, just just to enhance it just a little bit. He really didn't need much else. Um, I've been toying with redoing these missiles into more 
missile color instead of this bright yellow, but what can you do? When he's an arm, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. Just like Alpha Bravo and Blades. Eh. Blast off. A lot of people complaining about Blast off being a jet. It actually makes more sense for Blast off to be a jet. Um, they're military vehicles. Shuttle is not a military vehicle. It's just not. So, if for me it fits. Um, the one thing though, he was just a repaint of Quickslinger Slingshot <clears throat> using that same head. Now, I'll show you in robot mode what I did with this head because I did do modifications to him. But in plain mode, uh, all I added there's some gray that I added like on the tail fins and on the body. Not much else, just just a little bit here and there, just to enhance a few things. Yeah, it's not a bad repaint. I mean, it's got the color right, and like I said, in, in combined mode, it doesn't matter. It, it's it's it looks like Bruticus. So onslaught, and he got the most paint, mainly for Bruticus, but. We'll go into that. I know, the guns aren't on there. And I'll go into that in a second why the guns aren't on here. Um, but I did the front bumper. Um, in robot mode, you'll see I also got their springs in there that I got. I did all the wheels. Did the vents on the sides. I did these up top. Um, you can see some of the stuff I did the Bruticus's chest wings and stuff on there. And yes... Bruticus's head is repainted, but we'll go into that too. I also picked out some of the details. I know it's hard to see, but some of the rivet details around these windows. <laughs> Excuse me, got the hiccups. Just finished my lunch. But uh, yeah, and I did a little bit of red on the tail lights back there. Not bad. Now, for the guns, we ended up with. Somehow we ended up with two scatter shots in the house. One was mine, one ended up being my one son's. And he let me have the one gun from it, and I had, took the gun from mine. These. Just this part. Not, not the shield part. And I used these for Bruticus. Because they stick... Now on Onslaught here, just in this mode, they are a little big. I will say that they are a little big, but on Bruticus, they look really good as his back guns. So, there is that. Like I said, not reviewing these, just giving my thoughts on them. He's not bad for being a heavy retool of Hotspot. Um, before Bruticus, Defensor was my favorite of the Combiner Wars combiners. Um, I just like the way he looks. I've always liked Defensor. Bruticus has always been my favorite combiner of all time anyway, mainly because Starscream created him. But, uh, yeah. So there you go. So, I'm going to shut this camera off real quick, and I'm going to transform them all. We'll look at their robot modes. Uh, I didn't really add too much to their robot modes. I think Onslaught got a little bit, but um, yeah, the others, not so much. So... I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got them all transformed, and we'll start again with Swindle. You see, pretty cool. I love his head sculpt. Very Swindle-esque. I like putting his shoulder gun there just because. Really, not much uh, added paint-wise on him that I did. Um, only a couple of things that you could see that were added on on vehicle mode. Not much else. Um, he has a nice robot mode. Really nice. Um, it works for Swindle. It really does. Not bad. Still the winner of the wave. Because, uh, the heavy retooling they did on him actually works and brings out the character. He's, he's, it's got that look. Um, I'm gonna save Blast Off for last because I did the most to him. Brawl, again, this mode sucks on him. This, this this whole waist thing here, 
That's stupid. That that is not a waste. That is an angled piece of plastic. That's horrible. And my other problem, mine came, look at this. I've tried tightening that up. It's just not holding. And there's a ratchet in there and if I ratchet it all the way up, it'll hold a little better, but then it's still it's a floppy mess. Uh, what can you do? He has a nice head sculpt. I'll give him that. I like leaving the gun barrel in the back because it's like the G1 toy, so I like doing that. But really, eh, they could have done better with this. I don't know what they were thinking. Eh, what can you do? Alpha Vortex. <laughs> it's Alpha Bravo with a Decepticon symbol in purple and gray paint. Basically. It works. And everybody knew that we were going to get Vortex out of the mold. Uh, it's just, we knew it. It was logical. What else were they going to do? Not really much to say about him. He is what he is. Onslaught. <laughs> You see the big guns on the back there actually kind of kind of works. They're a little big for him, but they work really great for combined mode. Um, you can see there I got the silver inside of there. Not much else did I do to them. I wasn't really going for much for their robot modes. Um, I am trying to work on these thighs a bit. I had them apart yesterday. I'm going to take them back apart later and finish what I started because I started doing... I'm I'm cutting down the ratchet inside so that it, it gives more freedom of movement in the thighs when it's combined as as Bruticus because really he gets the A stance is just too wide or it's too narrow so I'm I'm looking for a happy medium which I've almost got I can almost pull it off this one's still a little too tight to pull it off and hold it but it's easy to do. I've got tools to do it, so I'm going to cut them down and then make sure everything still stays tight. If I have to put a little bit of plastic or something in there, I will. He's got a cool head sculpt, too. Very onslaughty. Nice paint, paint details in the chest. I do like that. They did do a good job at that. So there's that. All right, we'll get down to the last one here. Blast off. Um, yeah, I gave him a faceplate. I've got to go in and redo his eyes. I got to find the right kind of purple, but because his eyes are, they got kind of scratched up while I was working on them, so I got to work on that a little bit. But basically, because I'm diabetic, I've got these little test strips, and they're basically pieces of styrene. So I can take them apart, take all the electronic stuff out of it, and all that that needs to be read by the the meter. And what I'm left with is just plastic. So I cut that down and shaped it and then a little blue tack to hold it in place and some paint and voila faceplate not much else you could see in robot mode I did get a little bit on his his lower legs there uh, that's about it with the faceplate I think he looks more like blast off that we're used to uh, others are like well he could have re reshaped his head I wasn't gonna do all that faceplate says it all it works for me. So yeah. All in all, I think they're a pretty good set other than Brawl. But that's not why I got them. We're going to form the big guy. I'm back and I've got the big guy all put together here. I'll come back a little bit so you can get him in all his glory. And this is the official transformation for the legs. Uh, I also keep, I do keep the shoulders like this simply because it does add stability. I have done it the other way. It kind of makes these big guns sit weirdly. So to make the big guns on the back sit nicely like they are, I do the shoulders the official way. But uh, as you can see there, they plug in the back. I keep it at a slight angle because it gives them a little bit more height. And you can do the over-the-shoulder thing if you need to. It'll unpeg his head if you're not careful, but you can do it. It works. I'll get in close on his head in a minute so you can see. I forgot to fold down his crotch plate. Shame on me. 
But you can see there, the, the proportions with, with the bigger feet and the smaller hands just work better. He doesn't look so gorilla out. Um, I do tend to keep the legs more like sideways like this. It's not the most secure thing. But that's how I display him. That's why I'm kind of trying to work on his hip area a little bit. It works for me. As you can see there. And the feet have a nice ankle tilt to them and back and forth. So and they're hot and they can rotate. So you got that. The, the wrists move forward and back like this, up and down. They rotate. And uh, we went over the fingers earlier. Really good. I, I, I like these the, the perfect effect set. It it just adds the dimension to these that, that I wanted. Um, for weapons, what I ended up doing is, instead of using these big guns in the back or the guns that he came with, I do have Shockwave. I did a video on Shockwave, but Shockwave just doesn't fit right with these hands. So what I ended up doing is, uh, my Planet X Summonus, I gave him one of his guns. This big shotgun deal, and he holds it fairly nicely, um... If I can get his, uh, I'm plugging into his thumb, but he holds it. You can wrap the fingers around it if you want to, but that's what I do. That's his weapon. Works for me, for Bruticus. You can see on his chest and crotch area, I did some paint, uh, some silver, some grays. A little bit of colored greebles up there and stuff. And then you can see there's his head, uh... I painted it a lighter gray, not as it's the same gray that I used on the chest panels and stuff. Not as light as it was on the cartoon, but it looks a lot better than than the stock head that came. And I also redid his eyes with metallic red. I took the whole head apart, took out the eye eye bits. A lot of these transformers, they have the eye bits are separate, so it's easy to take the head apart and repaint the eyes to get the color you're looking for. So I mean, I did that on his eyes and I think they just they they stand out a little bit more. This is my Bruticus. This is this is what I do with my Bruticus. He's awesome. I took a picture the other day of him holding um little Chip Chase, the fry figure that came with Sun Surge in his hand and just it, the way his head moves cuz he does have a ball joint so you know, you can get some emotive looks from him. I like this set. I really do. Uh, I'm a little biased because, you know, Bruticus is my favorite combiner. This is actually the third Bruticus combiner I have in my collection of this size scale. I, I don't have a G1. I, I have a, a original R.I.D. Ruination, and I also have... Um, the desert camo version of ruination that came out during the rid line the 2001 line not the current line um so yeah i i also have the revenge of the fallen version with the fans project add-ons you guys have seen that before i have the micro blaze military titan set for the fall of cybertron version which now he and that version are pretty much with with these feet and hands they're pretty much the same height now though the military titans has larger guns on the back but still that they, they all look good together i did take a picture of them together um a while back maybe i'll throw in a couple pics at the back at back end of this so you can see what i'm talking about but yeah uh of course when i took the picture of him with them he didn't have the hand he had the stock hands and feet on him so you're just going to have to imagine him being a little bit taller now. But yeah. I I like this. I like what they did with this. I know it's mostly repaints and retools, but I don't care. It's Bruticus. Bruticus is awesome. I, I just... He's Bruticus. So there you go. I like him. I don't care if anybody else does or doesn't. I like him. That's all that matters to me.
Discuss below. Bruticus, take us out. Bruticus, smash camera! Thank you.